Hello, I'm Chani and you're watching the Art of Science. In chemistry, changes are divided in two categories, physical change and chemical change. A physical change is when the physical properties of a substance change, like bursting of this balloon or exploding of this watermelon. Physical changes involve change in shape, size or form. In case of a physical reaction, no new substances are formed. For example, this scissor that's being cut. Now, although the physical form of the scissor has changed, the material is still the same. Another example is paper. No matter how much you fold, bend, tear, cut, tape or make a table out of, paper still remains paper. Unless you burn it, of course, because then it turns into ash. It's not paper anymore. And that is a chemical change. Now that brings me to chemical changes. Chemical change occurs when particles of two or more substances combine, react and rearrange to form new substances. It involves breaking or making of chemical bonds between atoms. Here's an example to make things clear. When we mix salt with water, salt merely dissolves in water. The chemical formula of salt and water remains the same. And this is a mixture which can be separated by methods like evaporation. But on the other hand, like we saw, burning of paper transforms and alters the chemical formula of paper and turns it into ash, which is a completely new substance. So how do we tell them apart? Well, chemical reactions or changes usually leave behind clues. Let's see what they are. First is temperature. Like this monster foam is the result of chemical reaction between potassium iodide and hydrogen peroxide and heat is released during this process. Second is fire. Burning changes the chemical properties of a substance and forms new substances. Change in odor like the smell of burning is also an evidence of a chemical reaction. Fourth is release of gases. Like this reaction between vinegar and baking soda results in evolution of carbon dioxide gas, which can also be used to extinguish fires. Fifth evidence of a chemical reaction is change in color. The reaction of cabbage juice with various substances results in formation of new substances of different colors. Change of colors can also be observed in the chemical reaction between dextrose, sodium hydroxide pellets dissolved in water, and the indicator indigo carmine. Sixth indicator of chemical change is sound or explosion. Like in case of a hydrogen balloon, hydrogen is highly flammable and it explodes when brought close to a flame. Before we explore more, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Changes in state of matter is also a physical change. Ice melts to become water and water evaporates to become steam. But the chemical formula of water, which is H2O, always remains the same in all three cases. Physical changes can usually be undone. For example, you can freeze water back to ice. You can use a centrifuge to separate a mixture, unmold certain shapes and bring them back to their form, melt wax, make amazing stuff with it and let it cool down so it becomes solid again. But a chemical change cannot be undone, like the oxidation and corrosion of metals. Once rusted, the property of metals change and they cannot be transformed back to its original state. All chemical reactions are irreversible. But not all physical reactions are reversible. Like cracking an egg. This is a physical change because the egg is still an egg without any of its chemical properties altered. It has undergone a change in its physical property which can't really be undone. Although, if you make an omelette, then that's definitely a chemical change because you can't reverse a cooked omelette to a raw egg, can you? A physical change involves change in the physical form of the substance, like shape, size or form. 
but in case of chemical change or reaction new substances are formed and this can be identified with a few clues that chemical changes leave behind like temperature changes fire change in odor evolution of a gas change in color an explosion and so on most physical changes are reversible but all chemical changes are irreversible all the clips used in this video are a part of the hundreds of fun experiments presentation and diys that you will find on our channel i will link all the videos in the description box so you can check them out if you try any of them or you have any doubts let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week